About uh, two years ago, I was given an interesting challenge. Um, I grew up in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and uh, I'm a rap artist. That's what I do. I put out a few albums, and I got a, a, uh, an interesting challenge a few years ago, which was that someone was organizing a special celebration for Charles Darwin's 200th birthday, and uh, he was going to bring all these scientists in to do lectures, and he needed some entertainment, so he contacted me, and he said, um, would you be able to write me some rap songs about evolutionary theory and about biology, and it sounded like a good challenge to me. So um, I bought myself a bunch of evolution books and started reading them and synthesizing the concepts into raps. But there was this condition attached to the challenge. He said, if I'm going to have you perform for these scientists, if I'm going to fly you from Canada to Britain to do these raps, I'm putting my neck on the line. You're in the position to embarrass me, young man. If I'm going to associate your rapping with this scientific establishment of, Brink of um, Britain, then um, you have to first send me drafts of your lyrics so I can correct them for scientific accuracy. So it was a real challenge. I had to send my lyrics in email to this scientist, and he would come back with corrections, which means at the end of this, I had a hip-hop show that was scientifically peer-reviewed. So this is fact-checked rap that you're about to hear today, and that was the challenge. And the result was a rap album called The Rap Guide to Evolution, which you can download for free online off my website. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples of The Rap Guide to Evolution and uh, how this all came together. So the first thing I did when I got the challenge is I went to my hip-hop collection, and I got about 14,000 rap songs in my playlist, and I started listening to rap songs to see if I could find any that might already have evolutionary themes. Maybe someone has walked this path before. Perhaps I could stand on the shoulders of hip-hop geniuses, right? So here's one of the rap songs that I found. Um, it's a song called I'm African, and it's by a rap group called Dead Prez. Have we got any Dead Prez fans in the house? <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> nice. A slight minority. Uh, the first guy who put his hands up, uh, I, think, I think we're part of a little clique. It is the white middle class dead prez fans, right? This is highly ironic because dead prez, for those of you guys who don't know them, are some of the most black nationalist, hardcore, Afrocentric rappers in existence. They're like the Black Panther Party of hip hop, right? So suffice to say, when they wrote the song I'm an African, they were not writing about evolution. They were writing about revolution. But when they do it, they do this call and response thing, and I've seen them perform the song, I've never seen them live, I've seen them in YouTube videos, but they do this call and response thing where they go, I'm an African, and the crowd goes, I'm an African, back, and if you look real close, you go, oh, wait a second, there's white kids in the crowd, <laughs> there's Asians, there's Hispanics, there's Jewish people, what's going on, there's something strange going on here, right, something deeply ironic, because one of the things that we've learned from evolutionary theory is that all human beings alive on the planet today, including everyone in this room, have ancestors that lived in Africa. That is where the species Homo sapien evolved. So the color of your skin is not really about whether you're African or not. We are all African under the skin. The color of your skin just tells us something about how long ago your ancestors happened to leave Africa and where they happened to spend the last 80 to 100,000 years. It's a matter of degree. It's not an essential quality, all right? So Dead Prez were attempting to write a politically and racially exclusive song, but they unintentionally wrote the most inclusive song ever written in history, because it applies to every human being equally, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this like a folk song from the homelands, all of us African expats in the house, and we're going to sing it together today, all right? So the way this works is I'm going to say, I'm an African. Ooh, some of you are very eager. That's good. Um, but some of you, come on, be honest. Some of you guys look a little skeptical, right? Some of you guys are like, no, you're not going to go there. Oh, yes, we're going to go there. So when I say, I'm an African, part of your brain, yeah, you guys are on it. Part of your brain, perhaps, is going to go, ooh, that's wrong. He's white. That's wrong. But another part of your brain is going to go, damn it, he has a point. And the two parts of your brain are going to have a little fight. And the second part's going to overcome. And then you're going to say, I'm an African, back to me with just as much enthusiasm. Because you're going to feel it in your DNA. Because that's where your DNA comes from, all right? But of course, in science, we never take anything on authority. So a third part of your brain will make a mental note to go look it up later on Wikipedia or wherever you want. But for now, you give me the benefit of the doubt, all right? So let's try this out. See if you guys are up for it. Don't leave me hanging. I'm an African. Damn right, and I know what's happening. I'm an African. Hell yeah, so I know what's happening. 
Awesome. All right, so we're going to do it over the beat for a second and do the actual song, but one final adjustment first. Note that the title is I'm a African. Some of you guys are saying, I'm an African. <laughs> yes, excellent grammar, but these are grammatically rebellious rappers too. You got to drop the N in the middle because otherwise it becomes, I'm a naf rickin And the word naf just sounds wrong in there, right? So you have to overcome your elementary school classical conditioning <laughs> that makes you pronounce everything properly. And you got to read with your eyes and not with your brain, all right? Let's try this out. Let's drop that beat. Yeah, Africa. I'm an African. Damn right, and I know what's happening. I'm an African. Yeah, archaeologists know what's happening. Are you an African? Hell yeah, so you know what's happening. I'm an African. Yeah, geneticists know what's happening. No, I wasn't born in Ghana, but Africa is my mama. Because that's where my mama got her mitochondria. You could try to fight if you want to, but it's not going to change me. Because it's plain to see that Africans are my people. And if it's not plain to see, then your eyes deceive you. I'm talking primeval. The DNA in my veins tells a story that reasonable people find believable. But it might even blow your transistors. Africa is the home of our most recent common ancestors. Which means human beings are all brothers and sisters. So check the massive evidence of Homo erectus and Australopithecus afarensis in the fossil record and then try to tell me that we're not all connected. The fossil record has gaps but no contradictions and it complements the evidence in your chromosomes. So I came to let you know about your ancestral home. I'm an African. Hell yeah and I know what's happening. I'm an African. Yeah geneticists know what's happening. Are you an African? That's right so you know what's happening. I'm an African. Hey, archaeologists know what's happening And every human on this planet is an African So everybody needs to know what's happening Spread the word All right So that was one of the tracks And this one's another one it's got a little bit of a free, freestyle improvised component of it, so if there's a point at which you realize that I'm improvising my rhymes and you want to hold something up that you might have in your lap or your pocket or whatever, maybe it'll get worked into the freestyle. That's what shows you guys it'll be live, right? But it's going to start out with a little concept, with a little written, so let's drop that beat. So when I first started writing these evolution raps about two years ago, early drafts of my lyrics were not very complicated. Early drafts were kind of simple. One of my early drafts went like this. Yo, yo, the origin of species ain't no feces, dog, believe me. What? <laughs> and that was all I could think of. So then I was like, oh man, these lyrics really need to be rewritten. And sometimes people ask me, okay, well, how does your show get written? Like this, performance, feedback, revision. And how do I generally develop my lyricism? Like this, performance, feedback, revision. And how do human beings ever learn to do anything like this? Performance, feedback, revision. And evolution is really just kind of an algorithm that goes like this. Performance, feedback, revision. So the genetic code of every living creature was also written like this. Performance, feedback, revision. See, the genes are like a text with 100,000 pages. And the revisions occur in all the little random changes that come from mutations. And when they see the light, well, that's the performance. That's the phenotype. And natural selection, well, that's the feedback side. That's about who survives and whose genes catch rides in the next generation. Yes, what I'm saying is that a rap performance like this is the best illustration for the way that descent with modification works. Because the performance is necessary to change the words, to decide which have an impact, and which to send back to the drawing board. In fact, I just did that when you failed to react. Because any line can change, and the mutations occur when I improvise on stage. Because up until this moment, everything I said was off the page. But now it's time for me to switch it up and do a little freestyle section. I'll try to make it really specific so I can beat your cheater detection. Yes, indeed, this is what I'm freestyle, and it's a little lecture. I see you're repping in the front row. You're the only one with a red shirt, which means you're probably like a pioneer, like you could cross the entire desert. Yeah, this is me just trying to spit this verse. This is a, a freestyle. It's Darwinistic, not simplistic. Okay, check it. If I make a little mistake when I'm rapping over the rhythm, that's okay. That's how I introduce randomness into the system, right? This is the way that I rock it, try to split the sevens from the grade eights. So all the grade eights, can you guys please say hey? 
Yes, indeed. This is the way that we go with the ecstasy. We're gonna drop the flow. Ladies and gentlemen, is this freestyle impossible? Not good. <laughs> good thing you guys were paying attention. This is the way that I'm blazing this section. Okay, people are listening. They're like, wait, is this stuff sounding funky enough? Maybe you guys want to hold something up that you got in your hand. Yeah, I might talk about it later. First thing that I saw was on the left right here, a piece of paper, but it was blank, maybe an envelope. People are listening to the flow and they're like, yes, it's hella dope. Yeah, this is what you think, it's a cipher. I don't know why, but this girl's holding up a pink tiger or maybe other, some kind of a feline. These are freaky rhymes. Yes, indeed, this is the way that I'm making it blend. Son, you just held up your paper and pen. <laughs> yes, I can see ya. I hope later on you do write down a couple of great ideas, yeah. Maybe we're gonna have to go rocking on this microphone. Why are you holding up your pants, young lady? Go and get some micro loans. Start yourself a little clothing shop. That's right. Yes, I'm freestyling because I know hip hop. I'm no amateur. You guys wondered how we did rap freestyling up in Canada? I'm giving you a little section of it now. This is my freestyle. Yes, I'm gonna hold it up to you like a mirror. Thank you for holding up your name card there, Kira. Or maybe it's Kyra. I'm gonna just invite you to listen. It's my concept. It's my little system. It goes like this. Performance, feedback, revision. And you guys can use this concept to learn how to do anything like this. Performance, feedback, revision. So if you want to know about evolution, that's the definition. So say it with me. Performance, feedback, revision. Memorize it. Performance, feedback, revision. One more time. Performance, feedback, revision. Thank you.